Hi everyone, Mike Brown here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. We've talked about selections, we've talked about corrections, we've talked about layers and non-destructive corrections. Now we're going to talk about retouching. If you remember my four basic categories of Photoshop, selections, the most important, corrections, exposure and color, retouching, which is the physical alteration of the pixels, and then manipulation, which is composites and things of that sort. Retouching is vitally important as well. It allows you to fix all sorts of distractions, mold and improve your images in the industry of fashion. Retouching, you see it all the time on every magazine you see on the, on the street corners. You see the covers of the fashion girls, all with their faces absolutely perfect. Believe me, they don't look that way in real life. That's retouching, that's Photoshop. They look skinny, the dresses look perfect, everything is absolutely perfect. Nobody's perfect. That was all manipulated with the retouching tools. So we're going to go into that pretty deeply here, but in this lesson we're just going to cover the basics. And what we're going to look at are the basic retouching tools and how to properly use them. And there are really four of them, the spot healing brush, the healing brush tool and the patch tool, all three of those are under the little band-aid and they work in a similar fashion. There's a fourth one called the content aware move tool uh, which is new in CS6. I went over this under the content aware lesson. There's also where content aware scale and content aware extend which are both wonderful. The content aware move as a tendency to disturb pixels. We'll go into that as this lesson goes on. And the final tool, which has been around since the beginning of Photoshop, the clone stamp tool they call it, but we all call it the rubber stamp because of the icon. What this tool does is literally clone. It takes something from one spot and reproduces it in another spot, which allows you to do an infinite variety of things. But it's how well you use that technique that makes it flawless. And I'm going to have a demo here on these basic techniques, not just showing you how the tools work, but how to make them work for you, and some tips on flawless retouching. So let's get going. I'm going to take this image to start with. This is a shot I took of a friend of mine, and it's a nice shot. We got a little flyaway hair up there that could be taken care of in retouch. Uh, if you'll notice in her sunglasses, We've got reflections of the flash that need to be removed. Those are distracting. Along the side here, the dress has a blousing out, which looks pretty hideous. So what we're going to do is we're going to reconstruct that down into this area. And then we have some distractions from the background. These are things you really need to look at is your background. If you're sitting there when you shoot this shot, and you shoot it and it's wonderful, but then look closely. She has a branch that grows right into the dress, blends with it, almost looks like the dress and the branch are one. Very distracting element right there. This large branch growing out of the side of the arm. Over at the side of the image here, we got some lens flare. You see that haziness? And then down here, we have another branch growing into the side. And just one little distracting piece up here at the top. These are the things that catch the eye. You're looking here and all of a sudden you see this little brightness. So I'll show you how to fix those and they can all be done with any of these three tools and or the rubber stamp tool. 